Hi there Cloudy Savers and welcome to Amazon S3. Now in this tutorial we're going to learn how we can go ahead and upload files and folders to an already created S3 bucket. So in order to do so you click on buckets from the navigation pane and head to the bucket name that you want to upload your files and folders to. So I'm going to click on testing tutorials 7 bucket which will take us to its inner part where we have an overview, properties, permissions, management, and access points. Now we only need an overview for adding our uh, files and folders to. After getting to this point, let's go ahead and click on upload. Now we have two, two ways of uploading. We can either drag and drop the files directly or simply point by clicking on add files and selecting what files we want to go ahead and add into our S3 bucket. So let's try to go and drag and drop our files and folders over here. After So open the file where you have saved your files and folders to, which you'd like to upload to S3, and simply select them all and drag and drop them into this place over here. And it's simple as that, as you can see, they have been, the three of them, added for you to start uploading. Now, this way will let you upload files and folders, while the other way will only let you upload files and not folders. Now let's go ahead, you can simply click on upload to quickly get your files uploaded to the S3 bucket or you can go on clicking next to set permissions to your objects. So here you can manage the users who are capable of getting access. So we've got one user who is the owner, it's set for giving him the ability to read and read and write into the objects that, of, that you have in the bucket. Now, for the, if you'd like to add more AWS accounts, go ahead and click on account and add the accounts that you'd like to give access to and permissions to be able to work with your files and folders located in this S3 bucket. Now, after setting permissions, go ahead and click on next. Now, from the page of set properties, you go ahead and select which storage class you want to set your files to be stored at. You can go with standard the intelligent tiering, the standard IA, the one zone IA, the glacier or the glacier deep archive, or reduced redundancy. So go ahead and select what suits you best for storage classes, and then step to the place of encryption, where you can either go with no encryption at all, which means that your files are not important, so you do not require any security measures to go with them, or you can set an Amazon S3 master key, which will be used whenever someone wants to access the files and folders that are uploaded. Or you can set an AWS KMS master key also in order to add more safety to your files and folders. So let's go with none because this, these are used for tutorial purposes. It's okay to let other people access it. Now for your metadata, you can, head, you can set a header and a value for your objects that you're going to apply. For example, you select the filters. These are used for filters whenever you want to search for a specific object in an S3 bucket. So for example, you want to go with expires. You set which value you'd like your object to expire with. And as for tags, you go ahead and add tags in order to also identify your objects and give easy access to them. So you set a key and a value as well. You can add up to 50 tags of your choice. And after you're done, click on next to go to the page of review. From over here, you go ahead and check if these are the settings that you want to go with. If yes, simply click on upload. If no, go ahead and click on edit and make the required changes in the sections above or click on previous and go to other sections and change them accordingly. Now when you're, when you're done, let's click on upload button and you will see that your files and folders will be uploaded gradually in this uh, tab over here showing you the, pro the progress of your uploads. As you can see, the percentage 100% successful and we've got the operations. They are all complete with perfect success for them all. So there are no errors and zero are in progress. Now, as you can see, we have uploaded a folder called August, a file, um, sorry, this is a document, an AWS billing alarms, and a screenshot also, .jpg. So let's access this folder. 
and check what it got. As you can see, it got three other sections as well that we can work with. Now, this is all you need to know of how you can upload your files and folders to an S3 bucket. It's so easy and simple as that. So now you've got your files and folders saved into this bucket of your choice, where you can go ahead and choose them and access them whenever needed. So thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to our channel. If